wondered how your consciousness works? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? The mind is an intricate web of thoughts, emotions and experiences, yet we're only actively aware of a fraction of it. There are numerous theories attempting to explain this complex phenomenon, each offering unique insights. Today we're going to focus on one such theory, the global workspace theory. Let's delve into the global workspace theory and use the analogy of a theatre production to understand it better. Imagine a theatre production. The stage, the actors, the spotlight, the audience and the director, they all have their roles to play. Let's uncover how this analogy helps us understand the global workspace theory of consciousness. Firstly, picture the stage. This is the global workspace in our brain. It's the mental arena where a select few processes come into our conscious awareness. Just like on stage, where only a handful of actors perform at a time, our consciousness can only hold a limited set of thoughts, sensations and ideas simultaneously. Next, consider the actors waiting backstage, ready to step into the spotlight when their cues come. These are the unconscious processes in our brain, ongoing, yet not in our active awareness. They include memory retrieval, emotional processing and sensory analysis. Now bring your focus to the spotlight. It illuminates specific actors, bringing them to the forefront of the stage, much like our attention brings certain mental processes into our consciousness. As the spotlight can only shine on a certain area at a time, our conscious attention is also limited, holding only a few things at once. The audience plays a key role too. They represent our long-term memory, reacting to the play, remembering it, and influencing future productions. Similarly, our conscious experiences are stored in our long-term memory, shaping our future thoughts and actions. The director, deciding which actors take the stage and which stay backstage, is the embodiment of our brain's executive functions. These crucial functions determine what we pay attention to and what enters our conscious awareness. So, like a well-coordinated theatre production, our consciousness operates in a similar manner according to the global workspace theory. It offers us a unique perspective of how our brain functions, where some processes take centre stage in our consciousness while others work behind the scenes. This theory serves as a valuable framework to understand how different brain processes contribute to our conscious experience, shedding light on the fascinating world of neuroscience. In a theatre, the script is shared among all departments. The same happens in our brain according to the global workspace theory. The information on the stage or the global workspace isn't confined to that area alone. It's broadcasted to different corners of the brain, just like a play's script is sent to all the departments in a theatre. This broadcasting allows various parts of the brain to access and process the information simultaneously. It's like having a grand meeting where everyone gets a copy of the agenda. This shared information can then be used by different brain regions to carry out their specialized tasks, whether it's memory encoding, emotional processing or decision making. It's a beautiful orchestra of neural activity, all working together to create our conscious experience. This broadcasting and sharing of information across various brain regions is what gives rise to our consciousness. To sum up, the global workspace theory provides a compelling perspective on how our consciousness operates. It's a fascinating theory that likens our consciousness to a theatre production. The global workspace, the stage of our mind, is where a select set of mental processes take the spotlight, entering our conscious awareness. These are the thoughts, sensations and ideas we're actively aware of, much like the actors we see performing on stage. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, a vast array of unconscious processes are busily at work. These represent the unseen aspects of our mind, the backstage, where processes like memory retrieval, emotional processing and sensory analysis occur, waiting for their turn in the spotlight. The spotlight itself symbolizes our attention, highlighting specific mental processes and bringing them to center stage, into our conscious awareness. However, the spotlight can only focus on a limited number of actors at once, reflecting the limited capacity of our conscious attention. In this theater, the audience represents our long-term memory, reacting to and remembering the play of our conscious experiences. These memories then influence future productions on the stage of our consciousness. 
The director of this complex production is akin to our executive functions, controlling what we pay attention to and what enters our conscious awareness. These functions decide which actors take the spotlight and which stay in the wings. A key feature of the global workspace theory is the idea of broadcasting information. Just as a script might be sent to all departments in a theatre, the information in our global workspace is broadcast to various parts of the brain. This allows different brain regions to access and process the information simultaneously. So the global workspace theory suggests that our consciousness arises from this ability to broadcast and access information across different brain regions. It's like having a central stage where information is made available to various mental processes, both conscious and unconscious. Like any theory, the global workspace theory is not without its debates, but it offers a useful framework for understanding the complexity of our consciousness.